good day to you mate. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook page. Enjoy the video. In this video we will discuss about life jacket and its requirements in SOLAS regulation and LSA code as well as procedure of donning life jacket. What is life jacket and its use? A life jacket is something that is worn over your upper body, like a jacket or vest, and that is designed to keep you afloat in water. They will automatically turn you into a face-up position, keeping your mouth and nostrils clear of the water to prevent the risk of drowning. Here are the procedure in donning of life jacket. When the situation calls for its use, slip it over your head. Pass the straps around your waist and adjust at the front. For additional security, tie the collar straps as well. A whistle and a small light are attached on the left side of your life jacket. You can use the whistle to call attention, while the light will help in making you visible, especially at night. It has a luminous intensity equivalent to one candlelight. The power supply will last up to eight hours. Pull the string connected to it, and once in contact with water, the light will automatically turn on. Should there be a need to jump into the water, put your left hand at your right shoulder to support your life jacket. Pinch your nose with your right hand. Close your mouth. Put your feet together. Then jump. Where can we find the requirements for life jacket? We can find the requirements of life jacket in SOLAS Regulation Chapter 3, Part B, Section 1, Regulation 7, and in LSA Code. So let's now open the SOLAS Regulation to check the requirements. Life Jackets a life jacket complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.2.1 or 2.2.2 of the code shall be provided for every person on board the ship. It mentions about complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.2.1 or 2.2.2 of the code. What does it mean? SOLAS Regulation Chapter 3 is for life-saving appliances and arrangements. So the code it mentions is the LSA code and we will check the life jacket requirements in LSA code after discussing the requirements in SOLAS regulation. Let's go back to SOLAS regulation of life jacket requirements. For passenger ships on voyages less than 24 hours, a number of infant life jackets equal to at least 2.5% of the number of passengers on board shall be provided. For passenger ships on voyages 24 hours or greater, infant life jackets shall be provided for each infant on board. A number of life jackets suitable for children equal to at least 10% of the number of passengers on board shall be provided, or such greater number as may be required to provide a life jacket for each child. A sufficient number of life jackets shall be carried for persons on watch and for use at remotely located survival craft stations. The life jackets carried for persons on watch should be stowed on the bridge, in the engine control room, and at any other manned watch station. If the adult life jackets provided are not designed to fit persons weighing up to 140 kilograms and with a chest girth of up to 1,750 millimeters, a sufficient number of suitable accessories shall be available on board to allow them to be secured to such persons. Life jackets shall be so placed as to be readily accessible and their position shall be plainly indicated. The life jackets used in totally enclosed lifeboats, except free fall lifeboats, shall not impede entry into the lifeboat or seating, including operation of the seat belts in the lifeboat. Life jackets selected for free fall lifeboats and the manner in which they are carried or worn shall not interfere with entry into the lifeboat 
occupant safety or operation of the lifeboat. So, that's all for Regulation 7 in Part B, Section 1 of SOLA's Regulation Chapter 3. Let's check the additional requirements of life jacket in Section 3, Regulation 32 which is life jacket lights. This will applies to all cargo ships. On cargo ships, each life jacket shall be fitted with a life jacket light, complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.2.3 of the code. It also mentions about complying with the requirements of paragraph 2.2.3 of the code. So, let's open and check the requirements of the life jacket in LSA code. Paragraph 2.2.1 is general requirements for life jackets, paragraph 2.2.2 is inflatable life jackets, and paragraph 2.2.1 is life jacket lights. Let's start with general requirements for life jackets. A life jacket shall not sustain burning or continue melting after being totally enveloped in a fire for a period of two seconds. Life jacket shall be provided in three sizes. If a life jacket fully complies with the requirements of two adjacent size ranges, it may be marked with both size ranges, but the specified ranges shall not be divided. Life jacket shall be marked by either weight or height, or by both weight and height. These are the following life jacket sizing criteria. We have the life jacket marking, which is weight in kilograms and height in centimeters. The three different sizes which are infant, child, and adult. For infant, the weight is less than 15, and height is less than 100. For child, the weight is 15, or more but less than 43, and height is 100 or more, but less than 155. For adults, the weight is 43, or more, and height is 155 or more. An adult life jacket shall be so constructed that at least 75% of persons who are completely unfamiliar with the life jacket can correctly don it within a period of one minute without assistance, guidance, or prior demonstration. After the demonstration, all persons can correctly don it within a period of one minute without assistance. It is clearly capable of being worn in only one way or inside out, and, if donned incorrectly, it is not injurious to the wearer. The method of securing the life jacket to the wearer has quick and positive means of closure that do not require tying of knots. It is comfortable to wear. And it allows the wearer to jump into the water from a height of at least 4.5 meters while holding on to the life jacket and from a height of at least 1 meter with arms held overhead without injury and without dislodging or damaging the life jacket or its attachments. An adult life jacket shall allow the person wearing it to swim a short distance and to board a survival craft. An infant or child life jacket shall perform the same as an adult life jacket except as follows. Donning assistance is permitted for small children and infants. For infants the jump and drop test shall be exempted. For children, five of the nine subjects shall perform the jump and drop tests. A life jacket shall have buoyancy which is not reduced by more than 5% after 24 hours of submersion in freshwater. The buoyancy of a life jacket shall not depend on the use of loose granulated materials. Each life jacket shall be provided with means of securing a life jacket light and a whistle. Firmly secured by a lanyard. Life jacket lights and whistles shall be selected and secured to the life jacket in such a way that their performance in combination is not degraded. A life jacket shall be provided with a releasable buoyant line or other means to secure it to a life jacket worn by another person in the water. A life jacket shall be provided with a suitable means to allow a rescuer to lift the wearer from the water into a survival craft or rescue boat. That's all for paragraph 2.2.1 general requirements for life jackets. And let's proceed to paragraph 2.2.2 which is inflatable life jackets. 
A life jacket which depends on inflation for buoyancy shall have not less than two separate compartments, and shall inflate automatically upon immersion, be provided with a device to permit inflation by a single manual motion, and be capable of having each chamber inflated by mouth. That's all for paragraph 2.2.2 Inflatable Life Jackets, and let's proceed to paragraph 2.2.3 which is Life Jacket Lights. Each Life Jacket Light shall have a luminous intensity of not less than 0.75 candelas in all directions of the upper hemisphere. Have a source of energy capable of providing a luminous intensity of 0.75 candelas for a period of at least 8 hours. Be visible over as great a segment of the upper hemisphere as is practicable when attached to a life jacket and be of white color. In addition, be provided with a manually operated switch and flash at a rate of not less than 50 flashes and not more than 70 flashes per minute with an effective luminous intensity of at least 0.75 candelas. That's all for paragraph 2.2.3 which is life jacket lights. Okay mate, we're done discussing the requirements of life jackets by SOLAS regulation and LSA code. I hope it gives you a piece of information, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching mate and if you like the video, please click the like button. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell button to keep updated in my upcoming videos.